Hey guys, Toolman Tim here. Today I'm going to go over the five things you need to know in under five minutes to know what size generator you actually need to spend your hard earned money on. What is your budget? How much money do you have to spend? If you tell me $500, well that changes things. If you tell me a thousand, you're going to get something a little bit better. If you say, hey Tim, I have an unlimited budget, then I might say, do you want to sponsor this channel? Just kidding. <laughs> Let's say looking for something in the thousand dollar range. What do you want to run with it? Do you want to run absolutely everything in your home, including electric stove, electric hot water heater, your dryer, the works, or are you like me? You'd like to run just about everything, but none of the high drain appliances, no electric hot water heater, no stove and no dryer. Are you cool with just the absolute basics? Maybe a fridge or maybe a sump pump. Let's say like me, we're looking to run everything in the home except for the high drain electric appliances. Are you cool with alternating between things? Do you need to run absolutely everything all at once? Full access to every device in your home? Or are you okay with the idea of let's plug the fridge in now. Once the fridge is cool, let's alternate over to the freezer. Then we'll go to the sump pump. Do you have any sensitive electronics you want to run with this? Maybe a CPAP machine, or maybe you just installed a brand new furnace with a really fancy circuit board on it. If you answer yes to this, you're going to need an inverter generator. So now that we got your answers to those first few questions, now we need to do the important math. We got to add up all the wattages of everything that you want to run. The first thing you need to know is how much wattage does my furnace, my fridge, that sort of thing take. So you may need to go and find a sticker on the back, write down what it says for wattage usage on it. If not, grab the model number, do a little Google foo and find how much wattage you use. So for me, we're going to say a furnace blower at 800 watts, a fridge at 700 watts, miscellaneous lights around the house at 400 watts, TV, rotor, electronics at 300 watts, sump pump at 800 watts, and a single window AC unit at 800 watts. These are the things that I want to be able to run during a power outage. So that brings my total to 4,300 running watts. Remember that. I would recommend getting yourself something with about a 20% buffer at least in there. So look for something that you're going to get around 5,500 running watts in this example. That means you're going to need something with peak watts significantly higher than that, probably something that's in the 6,500 watt range. Now the chances of everything running all at once are pretty slim, but you got to keep in mind things like sump pumps, furnaces, and fridges, they spike their power a fair bit when they kick on just for a minute. So you need something that can handle a buffer. Last question I'm going to ask you, what kind of fuel do you want it to run? Do you have a big pig of propane sitting out in your backyard? Well, that's going to determine what kind of fuel you're going to run. Do you have a barbecue outlet on the side of your home that's tied into natural gas? That could change your decision as well. Or do you not have access to any of that and you want to be able to store gasoline? Whatever your choice is, here's the reason. Gasoline generators create the most wattage. Then you're going to see about a 10% drop if you go with propane and then another 10% drop if you go with natural gas. When you're looking at picking something up, check really close to the numbers and make sure that the wattage you're looking at matches up with the fuel source that the generator says it will take. In my scenario, something that's in the kind of thousand dollar range, something that gives me about 5,500 running watts, something that's going to run on gasoline, something that doesn't need to run any sensitive electronics, what are some options that might work? Well, number one is the Furman. It's the P05701 model. Runs for about $800 right now on gasoline and you're gonna get 5,700 running watts with it. Another option is the Champion model 201158. It's about $900 and you're gonna get 7,500 running watts off it and it runs on gasoline as well. And then there's the WGen 5300C from Westinghouse. That runs at $700 and it has 5,300 running watts. I want to throw at you one bonus tip. Seafoam is the magic in a can. I put this stuff in my generator all the time. It'll keep your gas from going bad. And if your gas kind of set there for quite a while, that helped clean the gunk out. You want to make sure your generator runs and starts every single time. Use this stuff. So if you've stuck around this long, that means I made this video just for you. So hit that subscribe button and stick around. And if you happen to hear me mention an inverter generator today and you're like, what the heck is an inverter generator? Check out this video I made right here that tells you all about what an inverter generator is. As always, stay happy, stay healthy, and have a great week.